Hello everybody. Today we will be starting with chapter number 6 and that is ratio, proportion and variation. Now as the name suggests, the chapter has got three parts. So we will be starting with the first part and that is ratio. Now ratio is basically a comparison between two similar quantities. For example, if A and B are two similar quantities with the same units, then A upon B is called as the ratio of A to B. While writing, it is written as A colon B. But while reading it, we will be reading it as A is to B. Now by ratio, we basically mean something upon something. But there are three things that you need to understand. The first is, a ratio is always found between two similar quantities. Means, you cannot compare your weight with your friend's height or the either way. We can compare only height with another height or weight with another weight. So it's always a comparison between two similar quantities with the same units. The next, ratio has no unit. For example, when comparing two weights, if you get the ratio as 5 upon 2, we don't say it is 5 upon 2 kgs. It is just simply pi is to 2. The third point, ratio will always be expressed in the smallest or the simplest form. For example, if you have a ratio as 40 is to 30, we would write it as 4 is to 3. That is 4 upon 3. So in a ratio, we just compare two quantities having the same unit and which are similar. Further, a ratio does not mean that it always has the same value. If I'm comparing two quantities, they might have different values. For example, if the ratio of Amit's age to his father's age is 2 is to 5, that does not necessarily mean that Amit is 2 years old and his father is 5 year old. Of course, that's not possible. But what does this mean is, the ratio of their ages in the smallest form is 2 is to 5. So, let's do a small exercise further. I'll be giving you a few ratios and you will have to simplify the following. For example, 50 upon 60. You can cancel the zeros and we get it as 5 upon 6. The next, 10 upon 12. When you divide and cancel, you again get it as 5 upon 6. Another ratio, 45 upon 54. Both comes in 9's table, so when you cancel them, it would give you again 5 upon 6. Similarly, the fraction 35 upon 42 will again give you 5 upon 6. So what we observe here is that there are many fractions which would give you the same ratio 5 upon 6. So if we are told that the ratio of two quantities is 5 upon 6, find their quantities. How do we do that? It could be 500 upon 600, it could be 5000 upon 6000 or it could be 5 lakhs upon 6 lakhs. For all of them, the ratio would be 5 upon 6. Now to have this understanding, let's observe. We have a fraction 35 upon 42. When I told you to simplify this, what you basically did was, you cancelled the two numbers like 7, 5 za would give you 35 in the numerator and 7, 6 za would give you 42 in the denominator. So students, do you agree that the number 7 was common to 35 as well as 42? Also, the number 35 and 42 both come in 7's table, so they both are multiples of 7. So by this, what we can conclude is that 7 is basically the common multiple for the given ratio. Now, this means that if I have a ratio 5 upon 6, and if you find out that the common multiple is 7, then we can find out the exact quantities by multiplying with the common multiple. That is 5 into 7 giving you 35 and 6 into 7 giving you 42. So when we are given the ratios and we have to find out the exact values or the quantities of the two terms, what we need to find out is the common multiple. 